Here we will see thread pull in C sharp. Thread pooling is the process of creating a collection of threads during the initialization of multi-threaded application and then reusing those threads for new tasks as and when required instead of creating new threads. Every process has some fixed number of threads depending on the amount of memory available. Those threads are the need of the application but we have freedom to increase the number of threads. Every thread in the pool has a specific given task. The thread returns to the pool and waits for the next assignment when the given task is completed. Usually the thread pool is required when we have created number of threads, perform a number of tasks and organize them in a queue. As soon as the thread completes its task, it will request the next task from the queue until all tasks have been completed. The thread can then terminate or slip until there are new tasks available. The system.threading namespace contains the thread pool class which has many static functions to create and use thread pool. The thread pool improves the responsiveness of the application. Here we will see one example for thread pool. Let us think about the Google Mail login page. There are thousands of users worldwide that want to log in in a short time to check their mails. The web server will allocate a thread for each user to check their credentials against the database. But creating a thread, assigning the credential check task and cleaning the thread is time consuming when multiple login requests occur every second. The web server avoids creating a thread and cleaning the thread for every request by making use of thread pool. The thread pool maintains a certain number of threads in a thread pool and when there is incoming task, it assigns that to a thread in the thread pool. When the assigned task is done, the thread will be given back to thread pool without destroying it so that it is readily available for the next incoming task, which is shown in below. This is the life cycle of thread pool. When the application starts, a thread pool is automatically created with number of threads pre-created on it. When a request intercepts to the thread pool, it just picks a thread from the pool, processes the request and returns the thread to the pool to sit idle. It does not destroy the thread. Creating threads in .NET is expensive in terms of memory. To handle this, thread pool is used. Next we'll see why should use thread pools. Threads are expensive as they consume a lot of resources in your system for initialization, switching context and releasing the resources they occupy. Normally when a thread is performing input-output operations, like file handling, database operation or accessing the network resources, the thread is blocked by the operating system until the input-output operation is complete. The thread will resume its CPU operation after its input-output operation is complete. A thread pool is a good choice when you want to limit the number of threads that are running at a given point of a time and want to avoid the overhead of creating and destroying threads in your application. It is also a good choice when you have many tasks in your application that need to be executed either in parallel or concurrently and you would like to improve the application's responsiveness by avoiding the context switching. Next we'll see how thread pool work. When working with the thread pool, you would create a collection of threads and store them in a thread pool ahead of using the threads in your application. As and when you need a thread, you would be reusing those threads rather than create new threads each time the application needs to use a thread. So the application would make a request to the thread pool to get a thread from it and perform activities using the thread and then return the thread back to the thread pool when done. Thread pools are useful in situations when you have more tasks to execute than you create threads in your application. Next, we'll see how to optimize a thread pool. When a process starts, it is allocated a pool of threads by the CLR. You can configure the size of the thread pool if you need. When the thread pool starts, there is just one thread in the thread pool. Then the thread pool manager creates more threads and stores them in a thread pool as the load on the application increases. That is, the application needs more and more tasks to be executed concurrently. The number of threads that can be available in the thread pool at any given point of time is governed by the maximum permissible limit of threads in the thread pool. That is, the number of available threads in the thread pool varies from time to time depending on the consumption of the threads by the application. As soon as the maximum limit is reached, the application creates new threads much more infrequently. You can always set the upper limit permissible threads in the thread pool. To do this, 
you should take advantage of thread pool dot set max threads property and to set the lower limit of the threads in the thread pool you can use the thread pool dot set min threads property the default lower limit of the number of threads in the thread pool is one thread per processor